Anna Marco. I'm a second year biomedical sciences student at the U of S. So SILA is a Catholic Youth Leadership Academy, um, and it is basically a leadership training for uh, individuals ages 14 and up. It is based on the training program, uh, Salesian program of St. John Bosco, and it is unique because it is uh, Ukrainian Byzantine Rite um, specialized. Um, and we have, we will be launching this program in the fall of 2022. Um, it will go for one year, consisting of four different weekends. And we will basically have different testimonies, different workshops, games, um, training, stocks, etc. The goals of SILA are to form young leaders who will be able to go out and proclaim uh, their faith, share their faith, to be missionary disciples and also to teach people about um, our Byzantine Rite tradition. We have started a tight cooperation with um, Salesians from the USA and they are um, able to provide for us with uh, people who will be training our facilitators for SILA. Um, and so we hope to accomplish our mission, which is be a light for the world to see. Um, so we ask for your generous donations and for your prayers to Sila, so we can develop the leaders who will be the light for all to see and who will um, serve different parishes and different camps and also just other communities that are in need in Saskatoon and in Saskatchewan as well. Uh, I am Maya. So a big project that we're doing is the Stilt Project, which involves uh, the young people walking and performing on stilts. And um, we're trying to incorporate Ukrainian dancing into it. So we have performed um, a nativity play on stilts in several churches. And we are planning to do a performance at Ukrainian Day in the Park and other Ukrainian cultural events. My name is Sofia. This project is a community outreach project that we've been doing for two years and it involves us going downtown and handing out hot chocolate and snacks to people that we meet on the streets and this year we were joined with the youth from the Holy Cross High School and it's just a wonderful way for young people to encounter Christ in the poor and it just does so much for us. We really see how much we have and we can give back to our community through this project. Just we have the walking pilgrimage and we have the biking pilgrimage. And so the walking pilgrimage is around 25 kilometers and the biking pilgrimage is around 40 kilometers. And we've been doing both of these for several years already. And they both involve lots of prayer. Uh, we have special talks and we usually finish off with a liturgy at the end. Yeah, in every pilgrimage, there is a certain um, topic and intention that we walk or bike for. And so we plan on doing more um, because it's just such a wonderful way to grow spiritually. Through your continuous donations, we, the young people of the Eparchy of Saskatoon, we've had so many wonderful opportunities to grow spiritually through these awesome projects and we really are able to glorify God through these projects. And we are just so grateful for you and your donations and we just wanted to express our gratitude.